Our next guest was an aspiring Major League Baseball player with a bright future ahead of him, and within seconds, he was brought to the brink of death. Take a look. So I gripped my two-seam fastball, and I throw it down the middle. I saw the spin of the seam coming right back. I tried to move out of the way, and took it right off the side of the head. Right here in the temple. I grew up in La Mirada, California. Football and baseball were my two dominant sports in high school. Went to four different colleges, and I eventually signed with the St. Louis Cardinals my senior year. The next three years, I was grinding through the minor leagues. By 2017, I was in AAA. I was pitching well that season. May 9, 2017 is a day that will never be forgotten in my life. We were playing the Iowa Cubs. The second inning of the game, I gripped my two-seam fastball and I throw it down the middle. He hit it right back where it came from and it came right back. Took it right off the side of the head. I was knocked out for a good five to 10 seconds. Once I arrived at the hospital, that's when stuff started getting real bad for me. The memories start fading a bit. One of my last memories is them shaving my head. And I think the time when I finally came all the way to and had a conversation with my dad, who informed me like, hey, you had surgery on your head. And I, and I looked at him like, what? when did that happen? And he did explain to me that they had to remove my skull and stop the bleeding. So once that died down a bit, they were able to put my skull back on, stitch me back up. It took about two and a half weeks to get out of ICU. And then once I got out of that, they removed my drains from my head. And from that point on, they put me through a barrage of tests, still in the hospital to see if I could walk, eat, think again. And it took three weeks to finally leave the hospital. I was spending the next few months doing pretty much nothing besides walking and eating. And three months to the day on August 9th, I got my last MRI, which showed that I had no more brain shift and I was cleared for baseball activity. The next season pursued and I had put together a pretty good season. So on July 23rd, 2018, I made my MLB debut. I'd like to welcome Major League Baseball pitcher and author of One Line Drive, Daniel Ponce de Leon, to our show. Welcome, Daniel. Truly an honor. Hi. Thank you guys for having me on here. That was You're awesome a fighter day. and a yes, survivor. Yes, Daniel. We are wow. so sorry you had to go through such a, a hor horrible ordeal. You know, my son is a neurosurgeon. You know, he tells me about these cases, traumatic brain injuries. Uh, typically, you get hit like that, you cause an intracranial bleed. The only way to deal with it is to remove part of the skull, mm -hmm. stop the bleeding, and uh, you know, keep your fingers crossed that you get back to, to life as well as you have.